This is a story called The Little Monsters, Chapter 122. The kids fall out again. The kids are, at the, are all at the skate park when Bumpy runs over Kicker with a skateboard by accident, causing Kicker to lose her temper. You did that on purpose, bitch, said Kicker. I didn't, Kicker. Honest, I didn't, said Bumpy. Yes, you did. And you know you did, said Kicker. Then she kicked Bumpy and pushed her over on purpose, making her cry. Then Stumpy said, Kicker, what did you do that to her for? She ran me over on purpose and it's got nothing to do with you, fat saw, said Kicker. Don't call me fat saw, said Stumpy. Well, if you wasn't so fat and greedy, then she wouldn't be calling you fat so stumpy, said Grumpy. Who are you calling fat and greedy? You're always grumpy and dirty and smelly, grumpy smelly boy, said stumpy. Don't you call me dirty and smelly, said grumpy. Why not? You are dirty and smelly and you're always grumpy, said creeper. I am not. I've never been dirty and smelly and everyone's grumpy sometimes, said Grumpy. No one could ever be grumpier than you, said Kicker. Oh, shut your mouth, Kicker. At least I don't go around kicking people when they annoy me, said Grumpy. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, why don't you shut your mouth before I put my fist in it, said Kicker. You wouldn't dare do that, Kicker, and you know it, said Creeper. Oh, yeah? That's what you think, Creeper, said Kicker. Then she pushed Creeper and kicked her hard, making her cry. I'm sorry, Creeper. I didn't mean to hurt you, said Kicker. You meant it, Kicker, and you know you did, said Creeper in between tears. Wah, wah, wah. I didn't, Creeper, I honest. I didn't creep her, honest I didn't, said Kicker. Yes, you did, Kicker, said Stampy. Okay, I did, and I hate you, Creeper, said Kicker. I hate you too, Kicker, said Creeper. I hate you too, Creeper, said Kicker. Then Bumpy said, I hate you both because you're both horrible, mean and nasty. If anyone's mean and nasty, Bumpy, it's you, said Stumpy. No, it's you, Stumpy, said Stampy. That day, instead of going to each other's houses, they went home separately. When they got there, their parents wanted to know where everyone else was, and they just said that they weren't friends anymore. Then they went to their rooms and stayed there. The next day, they went to school separately, and they kept their distance from each other. In class they sat separately and when everyone was told to separate into groups for their English assignments, they refused to work together and join different groups. All through the day in lessons and during break time and lunch time they kept their distance from each other and they refused to talk to each other. Then Bumpy bumped into Kicker by accident again, so Kicker kicked her really hard and pushed her over. Then they started fighting and Mr Peas had to split them up. Then Grumpy, who was playing with Paul Peas and Jason Lattice, kicked his football and it hit Stampy in the tummy. You did that on purpose, Grumpy, said Stampy. No, I didn't, said Grumpy. Yes, you did, said Stampy. I didn't, Stampy. I swear I didn't. It was an accident, said Grumpy. Yeah, you did. So now you're going to get it, said, said Stampy. Then he punched Grumpy in the face and they started fighting. And Mr P then had to split them up. Then they all went back inside, but all the little monsters refused to work together. After school, they all went home separately. That night, they didn't ring each other, go to each other's houses, or meet up. They just stayed at home all night. The following day at school, they refused to go near each other, talk to each other, and to work together. 
At morning break time, Creeper knocked into Bumpy by accident, so Bumpy hit her hard. What did you do that for, Bumpy? asked Creeper. I did it because you bumped into me on purpose, said Bumpy. I didn't, but it makes a change from you bumping into people on purpose, said Creeper. Then they started fighting and then the rest of the gang started fighting too. Some of the teachers came over and separated them and then they took them to Mrs Tinker's office. When they got there, Mrs Tinker said, What's with you guys? Why have you fallen out with each other? It's not like you guys to fall out and fight with each other. No one answered, so Mrs Tinker said, Well, can someone answer me, please? No one answered again, so Mrs Tinker said, Right. I want each of you to apologise to each other and make friends. I'm not apologising and making friends with them, not ever, miss, said Grumpy. I'm not ever, miss, said Kicker. I'm not either, miss, said Stumpy. I'm not either, miss, said Creeper. I'll never apologise to them, ever, miss, because I hate all of them, said Stumpy. I'm not apologising either, miss, said Bumpy. Right, because of your behaviour, you will all do lunchtime and after school detention for a week, said Mrs Tinker. I'm not doing detention with them, miss, said Creeper. I'm not doing detention with them either, miss, said Stumpy. I'm not either, said Kicker. I'm not either, said Stumpy. Same here, miss, said Bumpy. I'm not either, miss, said Grumpy. You'll do as you're told, all of you, said Mrs Tinker. She sent them back to class and then she rang her parents to let them know that she was going to let the, to lock them in a room together so that hopefully they'd make up and become friends again. They gave her permission and that day she got them all in the same room and then she got them... And then she locked them in and then she said to them, Right, none of you are leaving this room until you apologise to each other and make friends. Then she locked them in. I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean to be so mean, said Bumpy. I'm sorry too guys, said Stumpy. Me too, said Kicker. And me, said Creeper. Me too, said Grumpy. I'm sorry too guys, said Stamper. They all hugged and Mrs Tinker said, Now that wasn't hard, was it? They all laughed and said, No, miss. Then Mrs Tinker let them go and within minutes they were back to their normal selves, constantly playing pranks on people, much to everyone's amusement. End of chapter 122. Hope you like it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next chapter. Bye. Mm.